Hey Sagittarius, it's the mama, little mama. This is gonna be messages for you guys for the month of July, 2022. I'm over here that car in the background. But somebody's moving, okay? You know what to do? Check your house placements, and if this is not your story, it may not be for you. Cross watchers, you are welcome to. So what are some messages for my Archer MCs? What do they need to know and see for the month of July? All right, we got humor. <laughs> okay, you choose to focus on the lighter side of life. I don't know if somebody's trying to be humorous with you, mm. but it's like, you got a lot of green hair. It's something about your heart chakra. So I don't know if it's something you love doing, mm. but it's like, you know, your future's bright, right? Mm -hmm. Something about wearing shades. Okay. But I don't know if somebody's trying to be shady towards you. Just be mindful. Mm. All right, Sag, you got deception. What did I just tell you? Mm -hmm. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. So whoever is being shady in your energy... Sagittarius, I don't know if you're brushing them off, mm, dusting your soldiers off, <laughs> but cutting the deck, we got marry me and fresh start. So, uh, if somebody else, because maybe you are taken and you've been looking at higher levels of commitment and you want a fresh start, if it was somebody that you had to let go, you don't told their ass they done. This one to flip out. <laughs> somebody said they don't trust him or her when they're, you're not around. Mm -hmm. You making some kind of decision. I don't know if it's somebody from the past. I don't know if you're listening to some music, but somebody is upset because of the fact that you're a boss, okay? <laughs> you're a boss, Archers. Let me find out. And now somebody wants to ask for forgiveness for you. Mm. I don't know, um, Archers. Mm. I'm here. Somebody got to tie their shoelaces up. See, that keeps flipping. Something about a car artist. I don't know. Some kind of deception. And somebody's definitely being shady, okay? This is something here. We got pentacles. I don't know if you're dealing with the other sign. Something about years. I don't know if you're dealing with a Virgo. But, uh, ooh, see how that moved? Okay, there's going to be some kind of a shift and some kind of a change. And I don't know if you heard that car in the background. Because my camera done moved to the side. But there's going to be some changes for you. Mm-hmm. Well, Archers, it's like, whatever this decision that you're making, right? I don't know if you're brushing something off. And I don't know if it has to do with trust. Maybe it's somebody that you didn't trust and you had to cut somebody off. But they're trying to ask for forgiveness from you. And you're like, mm, you ain't trying to hear this because you acting like the boss here. You're your own boss. I don't know if you were, uh, shit, that's, that's emperor energy. Mm, or empress energy. Yeah. Because Sagittarius, the way you're looking at something, you got justice in your favor. But the thing is, it's like you're detaching yourself from somebody. You're releasing and you're letting something go. Breaking free. I don't know if you're dealing with a Libra, but you're saying there has to be some kind of changes. Mm -hmm. Let me adjust this a little bit just so you guys can see this. All right, Archers, I'm just saying. You're releasing something and you're definitely setting something free. Mm -hmm. Cutting the deck, yeah. We've got this Eight of Wands and that's your energy, Archers. And we got strength. I don't know if you're dealing with a Leo. But it's like, whatever these messages and downloads that you're receiving, they're going to come in quick. I don't know if you receive a lot of downloads. This is my download card. And then this is your card, right? Are you dealing with the Aries? Are you dealing with a Leo? But it's like, is somebody trying to move forward towards you? Is it a Leo that wants to have the courage and strength to move forward towards you? But you're saying there's some kind of deception. There's some kind of decision that you need to make. Ah, yeah, because we got this Ace of Wands. That's your fire energy with the Nine of Cups. You happy about something. I don't know if you're dealing with a water sign. That's prominent Pisces. Then we got Cancer, and then we got Scorpio, too. And Aries, Leo, Sag, like yourself. But it's like, does somebody want this passion in the beginning and look at you as wish fulfillment? Mm -hmm. And they don't want to let you go. Shit, are you dealing with a Kathy? I don't know. Is it her Earth sign? Mm -hmm. Or are you just focusing on your money? And you're just reserving some things right now. There's certain things that you need to detach and release. Sag is, yeah, see? Because we have this not King of Swords. Mm-hmm. That's air energy. I don't know if it's an Aquarius. Then we got this tennis of swords. So it's like, if it so happens to be an air sign, right? Or are you just embodying this air energy? Even though I know you are a mutable fire. Are you making a strong decision about something? About what you are passionate about? But something was a pain for ending. And this is probably why you had to release and let somebody go. Because it was some kind of deception. You don't told somebody, listen, I'm off Fletching boss. Because you are, what? An archer MC. Mm-hmm. But the way that they're coming towards you, Archers is like, I'm not trying to hear that shit. Mm, some kind of swift uh, message. And all these messages that somebody wants to come in and say towards you. And it's like, you just sitting there looking like you aren't bothered. And that's part of water energy. But there's a lot of swords. Somebody clearly wants to say something to you. 
Is somebody coming in talking about they want forgiveness? Because <laughs> you're not releasing let somebody go. Mm, I don't know. Is it a Gemini Libra Taurus? I don't know. See, this is a Gemini Libra Taurus. Hmm. Not an Aquarius. That's what they is. It? But we got this two of swords here and two of wands. And like with these two twos back to back, it's like you're going to be receiving some kind of news. Okay? Somebody clearly wants to communicate to you and they definitely want to say something to you. There's some kind of harmonious change. That's because it's nine of cups. Is somebody upset because of the fact that maybe you have blocked somebody? And whatever this decision was, you being at this crossroads, you said, listen, you're doing something that you are passionate about and it's like you want a new beginning. And sometimes the Ace of Wands is somebody from the past too. But it's like you don't want this do-over, see? Somebody from the past. You're like, nope, you're good. Mm -hmm. That's why Archie said I got to come off, let you off. I don't know what it is, huh? But do you not see this next to each other even though it didn't come down yet? Is it a counterpart? Mm-hmm. Does it have to do with court? Is it some kind of major decision? Were you being very keen and astute about something and you clearly said what you had to say and you just making a strong decision and Sagittarius said they said what they said, see? Because Sagittarius said somebody lied. There was some kind of deception here. And it's like, whoever this was, it's like, I don't know if you had somebody that was very sneaky in a situation with this deception here. But... I'm hearing archers laughing it off because they're like, listen, you can't see what you can see. See, you can't see what you can see at the bottom of the deck. You don't told the truth to somebody with the ace of swords. But see, that ace of swords was at the bottom of the deck and we got this ace of wands. So it was like, I don't know if it was somebody from the past and they want to start over again. You said no. <laughs> archers said they want a new start. All right, archers. See, because you said you ain't dealing with no third party. You want to celebrate your life purpose you know who you are and now you got somebody in the head like damn archers don't even want to celebrate with you and the archers like it is what it is all right because archers said listen you want to give they want to give you want this equality okay mm. not no in inequality you want the equality some kind of payouts mm. you getting this balance back in your life as you should yeah but see somebody knows you got choices and this is why you walked away I don't know. You got a lot of water here. You got a lot of air here. Did you clearly tell somebody if somebody asked for forgiveness from you? And I don't feel you're dealing with somebody for a couple of years. And whatever this decision that you made, you made it sound, seared, cleared, and delivered. But somebody keep trying to say, I'm yours. Archers is like, what? Uh-uh. <laughs> the bottom deck gets the three of pentacles. They want to build with you. They want to work with you. But see, that three didn't line down. And if that three lined it down, that was a, that's going to be a third party. But that's not even here, Archers. See? Archers is like, listen, you happy. You got this illumination with the sun. Is it a Leo? I don't know. Nah, Queen of Swords said, nah, listen. <laughs> is it an air sign? Listen. Somebody want to talk to you about this partnership. If you so happen to be with somebody already, counterpart, somebody makes you happy. But there's still somebody hovering, and you're like, no, you're done. You done cut somebody, something off. But see, at the bottom of the deck, they telling on you, archers. Got the lovers, unless you got a strong soul bond connection with somebody. Okay, you've known this person many lifetimes. That's what they have said. And that connection that you have, it runs deep. <laughs> Is it a Gemini? I don't know. But somebody wants you to make a decision. But you happy about something? Mm -hmm. See, and now somebody heard. And I told you, if a three comes down, that's a third party. You're like, no, you ain't trying to get hurt. See, this is why you said you done with the fool. Let me find out. I don't know if you're dealing with an Aquarius. But it's like, you taking this leap of faith. If it so happens to be an air sign or any sign, somebody wants to take a leap of faith with you. And somebody wants to start over with you. But if it's somebody that's new in your energy, you good, Archers. Archers said they good. All right, Archers. Mm -mm. Archers said they good. They wish them off. Let your good. Archers said they good. They wish them off. Yes, like, all right, Archer, see how that flipped out? Yeah. Because you got this great fortune here. Mm -hmm. Abundance. 26. Okay, that's broken down to an 8. So this is going to be a change in the month of July. Expect, a, expect some unexpected income, too. But see, there's some kind of expectation from somebody. And the way that is falling over towards somebody from the past, they're thinking about you. Talk about you need to make a decision. But you looking like, do you look like you bothered? Okay, you not bothered. Mm -hmm. All right, Archers. See, it's, I told you. And this is double eight of swords for whoever you're dealing with. I don't know if it's an air sign. But somebody's in their head. And with these two 
King of Swords and Queen of Swords, if it has to do with uh, legalities, somebody getting locked up. That's what they here saying. But however, do you not see how this is uh, over here? I don't know if somebody's upset. And you have to check the other sign because I said somebody locked up, but they're going to be getting out. That's what they here said. You got to check whose sign that was. I think it was Virgo. I'm not too sure. But yeah, they say give you this one. Yeah. Fall labor. You working hard for what you got. Mm -mm -mm. But somebody definitely wants to put that work in with you. But you got that symbol. And you got this. I just said they're good. They wish them off. Fletcher Wood.